Power plants that drive the rotors for helicopters can either be piston or gas turbines. The advantage of the gas turbine over the piston engine is the greater power to weight ratio. We need to understand the impact of the variable ambient conditions on power output. We also need to understand how rotor lift is developed, the associated drag it produces and the effect of the total rotor thrust TRT, with altitude and speed profile change, both vertical and horizontal. We need to understand the relationship between the power available and the power required. Gas turbine engines Helicopter gas turbines are almost always free turbine engines. The engine is made up of a gas generator and a free power turbine connected to an output shaft which drives the rotors through the gearbox. The gas generator is effectively a jet engine with a compressor system at the front, combustion chambers to burn the compressed air fuel mixture and a turbine at the back end which is connected to a shaft to drive the compressor. The power turbine is not connected to the gas generator, hence the term free, and it is governor controlled to run at a near constant RPM. The power of torque it produces varies with the mass flow passing through the gas generator. This mass flow passing through the gas generator varies with air density and is controlled by changing the fuel flow into the engine. The engine can be limited by either the gas generator RPM reaching a limit, the turbine temperature TGT hitting a limit, or the output torque hitting a limit. Variation of power with temperature On a hot day, the air entering the gas generator is already hotter than normal, so as the gas generator winds up, the total gas temperature limit is reached before the RPM limit. If, however, the outside air were slightly cooler, a little more RPM could be applied before the total gas temperature limit was hit. This means that when the total gas temperature is limiting, a reduction in outside air temperature allows an increase in RPM and a subsequent increase in output power. The reverse is also true. If temperature increases, the maximum power and RPM are reduced. If the outside air is very cold, as the throttle is opened, either the RPM or the torque limit is hit before the total gas temperature limit is reached. As long as the maximum power is regulated by the RPM or torque limit, it will be almost constant independent of temperature. This means, at high temperatures, gas turbine power varies with temperature, but at low temperatures, the power is constant. Variation of power with speed. Gas turbine thrust will decrease with increasing forward speed, but because power is thrust multiplied through airspeed, the power output stays nearly level. In fact, it actually increases slightly as speed increases. But, because the increase is small, it is conventional to show the power available line for a helicopter as a horizontal line. Variation of power with altitude As altitude increases, the air density and therefore the mass of air being accelerated reduces. This causes the thrust and therefore output power to decrease with increasing altitude. Piston engines Piston engines in most light helicopters are normally aspirated, in other words, not supercharged. On a normally aspirated piston engine, the mass of air entering the cylinder decreases with increasing density altitude. To maintain maximum continuous power as the aircraft climbs, the throttle, through the collective lever, must be progressively opened. 
Eventually, the point will be reached where the throttle cannot be opened any further and from this point on, power output decreases. Superchargers, when fitted, can maintain the available power output to higher altitudes, but unfortunately at some point the impact of the reduced density will decrease the power output. Variation of power with humidity Dry air is more dense than moist air. Where the humidity is low, thrust and power are greater. High humidity reduces both thrust and power. Some manufacturers provide graphs for 80% relative humidity, which show a 3-4% loss of power. Mm.